Hey everybody, it's Miss T from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Thank you for stopping in for a special STEAM STEM project. First of all, I want to thank everybody who came down and received a Maker's Day bag. Now, this is a week of, you know, you're not in school, if you're feeling particularly bored, or if you've already done projects, hey, feel free to do more or finish them. Or if you already finished some projects, please send them or send pictures in to us so we can show your work off and that you can feel so proud of yourself. Now, our email address is yp at plfdpl.info. Okay, so I'll leave it up one more time. It's pl, excuse me, it's yp at plfdpl.info. Okay, so send that to us at the library. We'll take your pictures and post them and give you something to brag on. You've done a great job, and we want to show it to the world. Now, today's project, we're going to make homemade magic jumping beans. Or, I like to think of them as dancing beans, because I kind of like to dance, okay? Hey, hey, and I'm sure you do too. But if you don't, that's okay. Let the beans dance for you. Now, what we need is a tall, clear vase, which we have right here. Um, you can add food coloring if you like, but today I don't, um, I'm not going to use food coloring today, but feel free if you have some, you can do. Water, which we have right here. A fourth cup of vinegar and this is the fourth cup of vinegar right here out of the bigger bottle right here and three tablespoons three teaspoons of baking uh, soda so we have our baking soda right here and let's get into it this is a fun project but it kind of it can get kind of messy, be messy because what happens is that when we add vinegar, and that's our vinegar, and when we add our baking soda, what do you think will happen? Have you have you ever done this before? So for those who've done this before, you know what to expect, right? So we added one, adding number two, uh-oh, adding number three, and what is happening? Oh my gosh, it is bubbling, that's right. So if you're going to do this, make sure you do it safely because it will bubble up. Now I have our vase in a little container. So that once it starts spilling over, it can land right in there. So that's what's happening right now. Take a look at this. Wow. So I can also put the top on it just to keep the bubbles down. And just so it can make, you know, it can become clear. So once the water clears up, we can see what happens with those beans. And speaking of beans, let me introduce you to my beans. Hello. And these are black eyed peas. Now these are the dry kind. So you can use any type of bean. In fact, you can use raisins as well. But beans, they're dry. They're not the soft kind that um, you find in a can or, you know, after you cook and they're uh, real, you know, soft to the touch. These are dried beans. So they're solid to the touch and they feel like marbles, okay? So this is the kind you want. So they come in the um in the bag. Okay? And you know, what do we know about beans? Especially in stories. Right, if you're thinking Jack and the Beanstalk, me too. So we know they're kind of magical in a way, right? So we're gonna find out if we can make these beans magical as well. 
So I think it's clear enough. I'm just going to stir, give it a little stir. Okay, so had, have you noticed what happened? The foam went up and then it went down. So now we're going to add our beans. And going to add some more beans. Okay, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me bring you in closer. Right, you can see what's happening with our beans. What's happening to the beans? Look at that. Now here's my hand, so I'm not messing with the beans, guys. <laughs> What's happening to our beans? Ah, they're jumping. Look at that. Isn't that something? And here's more. See, it, it's a little, it takes a little while. But once they start jumping, you can't stop them. Now, does anybody know what happens? What makes them jump? Is it the bubbles? That's right. That's correct. It's the bubbles that are making them jump. And so in the bubbles is carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide, as is released into the water, is making the bubbles. And those bubbles are lifting our little bean fellas up and down. Now, if you ever had like a um, an aquarium, anybody out there um, had fish at home or had fish at home? I had. And I kind of compared that to watching fish swim, right? When you sit there, oh, you think, oh, who can watch that? That is so boring, right? Fish are just swimming along, but... I compared that to this. So like watching fish, you think, oh man, how can beans be interesting, right? But when you watch them go up and down like this, you can't take your eyes off of them. And so, this will go on for a little while. But I'll bring it in even and closer so that you can really see our jumping beans in action. And they're just going up and down and up and down. And like I said, I kind of compared to dancing. So, you know, you can, hey, go beans, go beans, go beans, up and down, jump around, go beans, go beans. Hey, if you're so inclined to make a song about it like I am. But if you just want to sit and silently watch them and study them, that's fine too. And then off a lift off. And even notice the bubbles too. There's lots of bubbles all around, even on the bottom. And if you get, if you really look, you see the bubbles are attached to the beans. And up they go. I'm going to put a few more in. Now you can also do this with um, raisins. You can also experiment if you like. So it doesn't have to necessarily be these uh, type of beans. It can be um, dry kidney beans, try, uh, which are the dark red ones. Um, once again, you can try raisins. So you can try those as well. And kind of note, you know, is it any different? Um, are the bubbles more or less? Um, does one, does one jump, uh, higher or more than another item, you know? So there's all kinds of things you can do if you simply have some beans, baking soda, vinegar, and a little time on your hands and water. How can I forget water? And once again, a little time on your hands. So... I want to thank everybody for stopping in once again for our special STEAM STEM. Thank you.
for watching our beans jump, jump. Give you one more last, one glance, one last glance at them. And also, once again, if you received a maker bag, please feel free. Feel free to show off your projects. Send your pictures to our email address, yp at plfdpl.info. Let us show your projects off so you can be so proud and say, hey, I did that. Well, this is Miss T once again from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Wishing you a good and safe one. And until we stem again or steam again together, so long for now.